So the next one is how do you mark a higher handicapped player than you who is faster and more agile? Okay, so that goes back to last week's video that we, we talked about the write-offs and that kind of stuff. Because to be honest, if you are a, a, a zero goaler playing against a five goaler, he's going to be riding horses that are probably a lot quicker and he can play at a speed that you can't match. So the only time you're really going to match that is in a sort of um, in a knock-in or, or something like that or where somebody holds the ball and he's what, looking back at the ball, now make your ride off and beat him while he's not running. Because once he gets mobile, you are not going to live with him. It's that simple. Yeah. And that's why, for me, um, I talk about equal handicaps marking each other. Because to put a zero goaler against a five goaler is just, uh, it's a disaster waiting to happen. You very seldom, unless you are one of those people that's a zero goaler that is an excellent horseman, got great horses, and your forte is marking rather than hitting. Okay, then maybe you can do that. But if you are just learning and, and getting through, you've got to catch that guy when he's not looking at you in a situation where he is not running. You've got to beat him yeah. before he's aware. Otherwise, you're yeah. not going to. Yeah, I think, I think uh, yeah, I'm going to have a go at answering that question. And, you know, if you're wanting to start marking the higher goal players, you've got to first improve your riding and second, improve your horses. Because mm -hmm. that is one of the things that's, that makes them good is that they ride better than most of us and they all have better horses than most of us and if you are not matching them on that level you you're never really going to be able to match them on the field um and then you know just it goes back to what you were showing inside um the workshop um session that we released on 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 wednesday the first part and that's just getting better at at your ride offs um, but it's your whole 360 vision on the field and being aware of what's going on all the time. And so to, to actually answer that question, you've got to be improving yourself as a rider and your horses and then your awareness all the time. Um, and it's not necessarily something that you can just make difference on the field from now to next week. It's something that you've got to improve overall in, in your, your whole game. I think yeah. really um, my answer to that question is I don't have an abracadabra answer. You no, know, there the, isn't. The, the question for me is kind of wanting a quick fix. It's wanting how do I mark a higher goal player that's kind of better mounted and, and, you know, five goals when I'm zero. We don't have a quick fix to that. And I think people no. must be really, really um, aware that this whole workshop is not a quick fix. It's a step-by-step -step process, as anything is in sport. You know, we've got, as you say, improve your riding, improve your horses, improve your ball skills, all of those kind of things. And it's a step-by-step -step process. You're not going to just get it right just because of something I say in a question and answer like this. 100%.